Today, we are going to write the formula for the ionic compound copper 1 nitrite. So, first thing is, is I see that I have a copper here. I'm going to scan the periodic table for this metal, and copper is over here. Right, copper is represented as a Cu. So that's the first thing I'm going to write down. I have a Cu. But now remember, all elements in this is a transition metal, right? And transition metals can have many different charges. Which charge am I going to use for copper? That's why there's a Roman numeral here, guys. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So in this case, copper is a plus one. And I know that it's positive and not negative because all metals are positive. They want to lose electrons. The next component of this compound is nitrite. I see that it has an ITE ending, and all ITE endings come from polyatomic ions. They are not coming from the periodic table. Polyatomic ions have to be memorized, all right? So I wrote down the one that is nitrite. So just use flashcards, write these down, just make sure that you memorize these, okay? So nitrite is always NO2 with the negative one charge. And now we have the two charges. All we have to do is this little trick quick, uh, quick trick thing that we just crisscross the charges to tell us how many of each component we need. So this plus one crisscrosses down to the nitrite, telling me that I only need one nitrite in my formula. And then this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I just need one copper. When you do your crisscrossing, you don't have to do the positives and the negatives. Those kind of vanish. And now we're just ready to write the formula. So in this case, it would be Cu. I only have one of them, so I don't need to write it. And then I have NO2. I only have one nitrite, so I don't need parentheses or anything like that. So we're done. So copper, one nitrite, is just CuNO2. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. All right, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out, and I will see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.